year and a half ago, uh, we got funding for a pilot study to test an idea um, about uh, the areas in the brain and the genes that uh, control those areas of the brain that are involved in a kind of, of child abuse. Some women may have versions of their genes, the genes that control those neurohormones such as estrogen and oxytocin, that didn't allow the brain to be reset in this loving positive way and that they found their children to be aversive, annoying, uh, rather than positive, something to be loved and, and cherished. Foundations, uh, such as the Brain Research Foundation, step in and they, they fill an absolutely vital role. The small amounts of money that, that we get compared to the federal grants is tremendously multiplied in its importance by our ability to try out our new ideas, see if they work, weed out the bad ones uh, and select the good ones and then go on to uh, seek funding from the federal government. So it's an essential role. If we find out that uh, this is all correct, if everything is, is validated, It'll tell us a great deal about what's going on in the brains of women who are abusive. And that will allow us to design cognitive behavioral interventions, psychological interventions, that help them compensate for what Mother Nature didn't give them. It may even be possible or necessary to develop medications that, that help normalize their brain functioning. But this uh, will give us an incredible window on the living brain to see exactly what's going on in, in real time as mothers interact with their children. It, it's an extraordinary advance. This is the one that I think is going to help us uh, understand mental health and understand uh, other human problems such as child abuse uh, in the most uh, rapid way.